We're almost done! You made it this far! You're already ready to go into the advanced tutorial, and that's the collaborative session. And this is the best part, the collaborative aspect. It is. Right? I like to say we're for hurt somebody. Like me. Like Sarah or myself. So we talked about how you can transfer files and it's really easy to download and email them to people. We also showed you how you can go to other people's computer and actually print off the document from other computers because you can access your Google Drive from anywhere with an internet connection. But that's not even the best way to collaborate, right? Right. Because I want to work on the same document you're working on at let's, the same time. Well, let's do that. We can actually edit this document at the same time. Okay, that is awesome. And it all starts with the blue button, the magic blue button in the top right hand corner. Click on it and you'll notice that it pops up a drop down menu already. It says it's private, only I can see it. But maybe we want to open it up to certain people. Here is the share settings box. We can change our share settings. We can make them public so anyone can see them. We can make them semi-private so you have to send out a web link for people to open them or you can keep them as private. And you'll notice this little option down here where you can actually switch what people can do once they see them. Let's go ahead and make this. Uh, I'll put it public, why not? And I'll say that anybody can edit it. Anybody in the world with the internet can look at this document, can edit it. Right. Even you. That's right. Which we can play around with right now. I'm going to save it. Here's the link I'm going to send out to share. You can share Twitter, Facebook, Google+, or Gmail. I guess I'll share Gmail, why not? You have a free Gmail account because you open this Google account, by the right. way. It's just one of the added benefits, little extras. So the link popped up automatically, copy of lesson plan number one with my link. And I'm going to type in my best friend, my teacher buddy, her email address so she can get this link and go to the document. All right, so let's type in the subject line. Since it's collaborative and it takes two to tango. It does. My subject is going to be. And I'll click send here at the bottom. That's one way of sharing. You can also just use this box down here at the bottom. You see how it changes. Click in there and add people's email address that way too. And of course, control what they can do on the document. Maybe you just want them to look at it. Then you select can view and they can just look at the document. Maybe you want them to add their comments and I'll teach you how to add comments. So you add that option. Maybe you want them to have full access where they can edit and change things and manipulate everything on there. But beware because that means they could also just delete everything on the page. That's right. Not all is lost though because we'll talk about the revision history button later. Which is the coolest thing. I just got the email with, will you dance with me? And I'm going to click on the document. And now I can see the same document that's on Josh's computer. Look over here. We have this little indicator that says one other viewer. I click on it. It says anonymous, but I know who it really is. It's me. Look, I've got the exact same document. And we're editing it. Watch me edit it. I'm going to edit on here, but it's also going to change here. Go ahead and click on the page and show them how you're typing. Well, let's put this. Look at it. Editing. I'm not touching the keyboard. The keyboard's right here. My cursor's down here at the bottom. But I know Miss Snodgrass is editing up here because I see her pink indicator jumping around. I think I'm going to add something to the closing reflection besides yeah. rehydrate and the reflection. If you go back to your drive, you can do the same thing with entire folders. I can click on this arrow that appears when I have a folder selected. And you'll see that the share settings appear again. Much like an original document. I can change who has access to those folders. Is there a place that I could see all the history of this document? <laughs> yes, there is. Oh, uh, boy. But I always have to search around for that button. <laughs> it's it's on the file. It's on file? It's on file. Well, I'm Under glad you revision know. Revision history. Revision. See revisions. Let me click on that. <gasps> you mean to tell me that every time we've edited this, I can go back to that revision? It tracks all our changes. It That's amazing. All of them. Let's see what I've... That's what we started out with. Then we went to that. And then I took out my name and added my partner's name. Then, then I we added started fabulous. working on it together. All the blue are the changes that she made. All the right. green are the changes that I made. Revision history is awesome for collaborating. How do you get rid of that, the revision history then? Oh, this is a little X here. It's a lot like most uh, folders on your computer. That is awesome. 
So if I had a student in my class or students that were collaborating and they typed something inappropriate, you go to file, see revision history, bam, you nail them, and you can show their parents at teacher a parent teacher conference. I bet you I only nail them once. <laughs> Won't happen again. Won't happen again. Actually, just teach your students that this exists. Yeah. No problems. Yeah. And if my friend's not here with me, we can type in this chat window and type messages back and forth to each other too. But if that's too distracting, just close the chat window. So here's my chat window. I'm going to type something. I'm hungry for Mexican food. Me too. Let's go eat. We'll be right back. When we come back, we'll do... Let's. It's probably best that we split this because collaboration is so advanced. We're going to split it into two videos. So when we come back, we're going to go over it. Commenting. Commenting. We already got our revision, oh, you did revision history. history. So we already hit sharing and revision history. Now we're just going to talk about commenting when we come back. This might be two videos, actually. Yeah, it might be. You hear my stomach? I heard your stomach. 